Hi, I'm Celia Reisman. This is my backyard. Sometimes my garden looks great. It's just beginning, so hopefully it'll be pretty special in around a month. The rest of the yard is chewed up by my dog, Maggie. Right, Mags? The beauty and the mystery of the everyday world unfold in the paintings of Celia Reisman. I grew up in a household with deaf parents. I, my dad was deaf and my mom was hard of hearing. My dad was a printer. It was an occupation that many deaf men mostly had in the 50s and 60s, operating a linotype machine. It was a way for the deaf community to have well-paying jobs because they needed people who could concentrate even though the noise level was so great. I never used to think that any of that mattered in terms of my becoming an artist, but I've realized my father would point things out all the time because he was totally visual. Look at that bird, or look at that tree, or look at this, and so his whole connection to the world was about looking. Celia excelled at art as a child and won a National Scholastic Award that enabled her to study at Carnegie Mellon. My professors were all abstract expressionists. No one really worked from observation. We were making drawings the first year from the model, but after that, no one really worked from observation. And I always wanted to do things that were about imagery, but at the same time, abstract them. It was a place where I had to teach myself. If Celia lacked kindred art spirits in college, she found some on a trip to England. When I got there, I saw all this artwork that I didn't know anything about. I saw David Hockney, I saw R.B. Kittai, I saw my first Stanley Spencer painting that I just fell in love with. It was an experience that really changed me. The art magazines were showing minimalism, but there was this whole group of people in England who were really dedicated to imagery and figuration. Celia ended up working for R.B. Kittai his blending of observed reality with abstraction was very inspiring to her. Even his method of applying paint affected her. People talk about the French painters and about a kind of surface and a lusciousness of paint. Kitai's paintings are like graphic design. They're very thin in paint. It's really the opposite of what painterly paintings are about. Because I'm not a real painterly painter either, I think that I need to know that there are people who are really making interesting paintings, even though the way they work with the material is totally different. I did meet my husband there, and Kitai told me to marry Mark, which I did do. She's been a great wife. She really is a nice person. She's very nice. She's nice to strangers. Yeah, she's probably nicer to strangers than she is to me. <laughs> I make drawings out in the world for every painting that I make. My car is my roving studio. I go back several times to the same location and look at it. I try and do it at the same time of day. It's very much about editing and taking notes, observing things that are of interest, and I'll select what I want. Mix perspectives and mix scales and points of view. It's not about consistency, it's about creating another order. Every painting then gets worked on in the studio using the memory of the place and the information from the drawing to make the paintings cohesive and make them work. Celia will sometimes paint the same place at different times of the day. I have the three new paintings that I'm working on in the same location, but one is about daylight, and one I want to be about dusk, and the other one I want to be about nighttime. It just allows me to be playful, to be more experimental with how I'm arranging color and how I'm thinking about the light. I don't feel as if I am in charge of the mood that gets created with these paintings. I want to create a kind of beauty, but I also want it to be charged. The world is really complex. I enjoy juggling all the parts that have to get put together to make a painting. People have also said that my paintings reveal something to them. They see these places in a different way. They see the kind of magic or the beauty that I see in them.